much for joining me on Being Indispensable. My name's Liz Van Vliet. We're all dispensable. I know that better than anyone. I'm a breast cancer survivor. But that doesn't mean that we can't invest in ourselves to improve the skills and capabilities that are going to help us stand out and be perceived as indispensable. Being indispensable is also about the being side of the equation. Because if we're not looking after ourselves and our own well-being, then we have no hope of showing up as indispensable in the workplace. Well, hello, lovely listeners. Welcome to episode 147 of the Being Indispensable podcast and my first episode of the new year 2022. I hope that you have all enjoyed a safe and healthy holiday break wherever you are in the world and that the dreaded Omicron is not causing too much chaos chaos for you personally. I'm not going to go on about that any longer because we're all so completely bored with the subject of coronavirus and now Omicron. Anyway, today's episode is actually a book recommendation and a reflection on why I think it's a particularly relevant book for us to think about going into 2022. The book is the book, not a new book, written by Adam Grant called Give and Take, Why Helping Others Drives Our Success. It's not a new book, as I said, but it is as brilliant as it is wise, according to Susan Cain, who is another one of my favourite authors. Now, let me just give you a little bit of blurb about the book. It, the blurb about the book says that for generations, we've been focused on the individual drivers of success, passion, hard work, talent, and luck. But today, success is increasingly dependent on how we interact with others. It turns out that at work, most people operate either as either takers, matchers, or givers. Whereas takers strive to get as much as possible from others and matches aim to trade evenly, givers are the rare breed of people who contribute to others without expecting anything in return. Now, listening listening to that little introduction, I am thinking that it doesn't take much for you to understand why I felt that this was a book that would resonate with you lovely listeners, most of whom of my lovely listeners are executive assistants or admin professionals. And it won't come as a surprise to any of you that in my work, I come a lot across a lot of givers in the executive assistant space. And I would consider myself to be equally a giver. And the thing that I want to highlight about this book and the reason why I'm recommending it to you, if, as always, if you find that your time is not available for you to read the book, then I would encourage you to check on the show notes and go and find the links that I've put in there that are things like Adam Grant's TED Talk where he talks about the book. The reason why I think this book is particularly relevant is that the thing about you as executive assistants is that you are constantly dealing with the dilemma and the conundrum of being of service, but not in service. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I see and what I saw particularly last year and in 2020 as the pandemic really took hold was the reality that in all organisations, burnout and emotional exhaustion were a real thing. And as we look towards 2022, and I wanted to start this year with an episode that really focused on thinking and being letting you know how much I want you to be thinking about putting plans in place to 
protect and refill that bucket of your emotional energy. Well, I think this whole concept of being a giver and giving until you are burnt out, until the well runs dry, is something that Adam Grant talks about in this book. He talks about the concept of being what he calls a failed or a failing giver. And those are people that give and give until the well runs dry. And for you as executive assistants, that will be the fact that you are being, you know, pulled on by both your manager, by the people that you're supporting, the teams that you're supporting, as well as people in your personal life. And I see that all the time. And I want you to go forward in 2022 thinking about what it's going to take for you to be what Adam Grant refers to as a successful giver. Because being a giver is a wonderful thing. And as a giver myself, I would not want you to not be a giver. But what I want you to do is be a successful giver. And a successful giver is somebody that makes, is discerning about their giving. They choose who, they choose when, and they choose how they're going to give of their time and of their energy. And of course, as executive assistants, there are going to be the realities of your day to day, your day to day role where you are required to be, as I said, to be of service, but you are not in service. You are not subservient and your needs and what's important to you in terms of your values and what's of value to you is something that I want you to be really clear on as you go forward into this new year. I can speak for myself here and say that this is something that I'm reflecting on in terms of where I stand as a giver when I'm dealing in a world where there are a lot of takers out there. And I see them all the time, sadly, in my sphere, in my niche. I see people that put themselves out there as being, you know, passionate advocates of the admin profession. But what they actually spend more time doing is filling their own, uh, you know, bank account. And I'm pleased to say that when I look back on 2021, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that I continued to be a giver, not a taker. And I did not succumb to, you know, the tendency that, you know, is out there, the attraction that is out there for self-promotion at the expense of being, you know, true to my values. My podcast is a way that I am a giver. I don't have sponsors. I don't take any money for the podcast that I have now been doing for five and a half years. I have volunteered as a non-executive director for AOP and volunteered my time over and you know the last five years for AOP, contributing my time and energy at whatever point was required to be able to support the admin profession in Australia. I've done that through countless events throughout the world. And I'm really pleased and delighted to be able to lift you up as admin professionals. But it does get on my nerves and really frustrate me when I see people out there who are talking about being advocates for the admin profession and are not givers. They are indeed takers. And I'm sure that you can think of some of those people yourself. And I'm sure it frustrates you And I'm sure it frustrates you when you think about the takers that are there in your circle, in your organisations, those people that's default position is to get rather than give. And look, in Adam's book, he talks about matches and matches are people who look for a quid pro quo. So they look for that sort of return on investment of their time and their energy. And what I'm talking about is not being a matcher. It's about continuing to be a giver. But as I said, what I want you to be thinking about is being 
and I'm going to try to take my own advice here about being a successful giver rather than a failed giver. And I'm going to think about this year about who I give my time to, about when I choose to allocate that time and about how much time and energy I give to people. And that is just being realistic. And to finish off this episode, it actually finishes on a really lovely note, which is that my word for 2022, and I'm wondering if you go through this process too of thinking about what your word for 20 for the year is. Well, my word for this year is enough. And that is a word that I've chosen because it speaks not only to how I want to feel about myself, that what I do is enough and who I am is enough, but that what I, when I think about sitting down and doing whatever programs I'm going to be doing in 2022, whether that is training programs, uh, speaking, keynote events, whether it's going to be this podcast, it's about reminding myself when I have that moment that, you know, with that voice that pops into my head that tells me that I'm not good enough to remind myself that I am enough and that I need to lower my expectations of myself. And that's something that I want to encourage you to do as well. So in this episode where I've tried to give you a tip on a book to read, but also on some concepts around this Adam Grant concept about what your orientation is, the fact that we're all capable at any moment of being a giver, a taker, or a matcher. But I know that for me, being a giver fills me with, uh, you know, affirmation and makes me feel like I'm being of value in the world and I wouldn't want it any other way. But what I want for 2022 for me and for you is to be a successful giver. So on that note, that is my episode 147 for this week, short and sweet. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the show notes, head over to my website, It would be great if you haven't already done so. If you enjoyed the show, if you could kindly go to iTunes and leave a review. It helps other people find the show. Thanks for listening and have a great week.